Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the blue screen error stop code 0x0000024. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve without too much of a hassle. Now, there's going to be a couple of different things I'm going to go through in this tutorial, but I do want to set up a little bit of background. So if you're unable to boot into the Windows operating system, I would suggest getting, if you're on Windows 10, getting the Windows 10 media creation tool and boot your computer from the Windows 10 ISO from a CD, DVD, USB flash drive and then instead of installing Windows select repair my computer to launch some of the troubleshooting options and then we want to run a command prompt from there. If you're on Windows 7 you'd want to launch the advanced boot options. So basically we're just trying to get to a command prompt so we can start typing in some commands here. So again, we want to launch the command prompt. There's a few different ways to do it. If you power your computer off three times in a row, it should also launch the troubleshooting utilities if you're on Windows 10. And you want to go through troubleshoot and then select command prompt. And we want to run a command prompt scan. So we're just waiting for our computer to load some of those options right here. And then we're going to go ahead with the video. So how you come about this video might be a little bit different, like where your starting point is, but we want to get everybody on the same page when we actually go about running the commands. So underneath choose an option, I'm going to left click on troubleshoot, reset your PC or see advanced options, and then I'm going to left click on advanced options. And now you want to go, if you can see a screen that looks like this, I would suggest going underneath startup settings, or you do command prompt, whichever you prefer. So just so we better simulate people that are running an earlier version of Windows, I'm going to select Startup Settings, Change Windows Startup Behavior, and then I'm going to left click on Restart. I'm trying to get into safe mode here, just to give you guys an idea of what we're attempting to do. Okay, so underneath startup settings using my function keys, I'm going to select F5, which will enable safe mode with networking. So I'm just going to tap the F5 key here. Again, depending on what version of Windows you're running, this may look a little different, but it's the same idea. Okay, so now that we're in safe mode here, we want to go and open up the start menu and type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. Now that we're in elevated command prompt, you want to type in CHK, DSK, space, and now whatever drive letter Windows is installed on. So if you're unsure where Windows is installed on, you can go over to the start menu, type in system. So if you're unsure when it's installed on, you can go open up the start menu, type in File Explorer, and then if you go over and click on this PC or computer on the left side here, whatever it says your local disk is likely where Windows is installed on. So you can see it's my C drive. So I'm going to close out of here, and then I'm going to type in C, and then colon, so one dot on top of another dot. Should be one key on your keyboard, by the way, and then a space forward slash F, and then another space, 
forward slash r exactly to pierce my screen. Then you want to hit enter. Should say that check disk cannot run because the volume isn't used by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? Tap the Y key on your keyboard, hit enter. Should say the volume will be checked the next time your system restarts. So at this point all you would do is just restart your computer and hopefully that would resolve your issue. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.